You know those optical illusion photos where if you stare at them, your brain starts hallucinating things that aren't there? This is a puzzle game designed around that exact concept. You have an optical illusion, and this one, for example, is like, if you look at it, your peripheral vision will create gray squares in the intersection of the white lines, but they're not there except for one intersection where a gray square is actually there. And in this example, intersection three actually has a gray square. So you gotta spot the fake illusion, hence the name fake illusion. So two actually has a gray square. And you can play along at home, try to find them faster than I do. I actually have a timer up on screen to see how quickly I can spot these fake illusions. Uh, plus I'm playing these like right before sleep, so I might be extra hallucinating. On the next section, there's black squares blocking it. So now 28 possible options, but doesn't stop me from seeing 27 as the fake illusion. There's number 12 and here's 27 again. Now there actually is a difficulty slider for this game. Uh, I think I'm gonna have it vary from puzzle type to puzzle type. Uh, this puzzle type I'm actually playing on the hardest difficulty possible, which just means like the illusion is the hottest, hardest to spot. Like you can slide this around, bigger number makes it easier. And I think that would just make the gray square like darker and now it's moving, but I do see that five is the illusion. Okay, it's moving pretty slowly. So the trick is for this one, is that for the illusion, the gray squares only appear in your periphery. So if you're staring straight at it and the uh, gray square still persists, then it's real. So if you wanna know something is real and you're not hallucinating, just stare at it. Preferably if it's not a person. They might think you're a little weird if they are in fact real. But if they're not real, then you know, I guess that works out. There we go, 28. Okay, so the white lines have become gray and only there's only like a street light at the intersection illuminating it. You mean to tell me there's a gray square in one of these? Or am I looking for like the circle to be darker? Uh, I guess 11 is a little bit darker. Yeah, so look for the slightly darker circle. Okay, I can get the hang of this. Uh, this one's definitely trickier than the rest though, making me stumble at least a little bit. Ah, uh, now I'm starting to get on a roll. But just as I say that, will I get stopped? I was about to say one of them looked like it was darker, but yeah, that's the whole fucking point of the puzzle. Uh, it's 28. There we go. Um, how is this different? Is it like thinner lines or different font of number? I'm not sure how it's different, but it's definitely harder. Mmm. Um, okay, it's 17. That one actually took me a bit. 21, that one was a little quicker. Yeah, I think it's thinner lines. I don't know, I, I don't have a side by side. I gotta be sure not to prematurely click because again, the brain do be playing tricks on you. It's on all of them! It's everywhere! So after mastering illusion, you unlock more illusions, like this one. So the idea of this illusion is that all of the central gray squares are supposed to be the same color, but by creating different borders around them, they'll look like they're different colors. However, one of them is actually a different shade of gray, and I gotta figure out which. So I'm gonna say it's this one. Oh no. It's this one? Uh-oh. Uh, this might be pretty tough. Yeah, because there's a lot of different uh, borders. Freaking, are all the borders slightly different? That's mean, is it one? Oh no. Is it four? Two? Oh, I'm terrible at this. Is it five? Is it seven? Okay. So ideally I would want to spot two of the same colored border, and if there's a difference between the inner square, then that's the one, I don't know, is it nine? Okay. Yeah, because I imagine our brains judge color simply relative to other colors, but the other color we're comparing it to varies quite a lot. Wow, this one's absolutely stumping me. I have no idea. That one's different. What's frustrating is that the illusion still applies here. <laughs> because this is still surrounded by black, I can't really verify that this is a different color, but it does look darker. Seven looked different at first glance, but no. Maybe if like squint is easier, is it nine? Nope, squinting doesn't help. But if like tilt my head a little bit, does that help? Nope, definitely not. Wow, these all look the same, unless if it's 11, nope. Wow, is it, is it one? I am awful at this. Is it 11? Is it three? Seven? Okay, three and seven actually look different. I should have compared it more to others. Two looks different. Well, two looks kind of comparable to 12, kind of. It's two. Hey, okay, this one's tough. I'm gonna pump this difficulty up. We'll go, uh, we'll go right before the smiley face. We'll keep it frowny space. The backgrounds are changing! Is it seven? Crap. Cause like, 
Look at how the inside changes when the background changes. Is it one? <laughs> I feel like you actually have to stare at one of them for a while. It's not six. Yeah, like stare at a single one as it changes so it's just so you can process its color. I, I'm not following my own rules. Is it 15? Is it seven? Oh my, I, okay. I kept staring at seven. I kept comparing seven to the other thing. I'm like, oh, it's the other thing. It's not seven, but it was seven. That slimy bastard. Okay, that one seemed a little obvious. Um, wow. They're going balls to the wall with this. I think it's nine. No, it's not. All right, ain't 14 different? They are not. Is it six or one? Dude, seven? Okay, I think I'm just like clicking on it anytime the, the border becomes white. I don't know, man. They all look wrong. I'm gonna freaking go back down to 0% at this rate. Wow. Well, the good news is you can't go lower than zero, right? It was literally the last one I could have guessed. I guess it's supposed to be lighter than the rest? Wow, that is tough. Is it 12? 12 is lighter than the rest? Nice. Could be 11? No. I'm staring at six. Okay, good. Is it seven? No, seven looks the same. Is it 12? No, 12 and 15 are verifiably the same, so it's not those. Five looks lighter than the rest. There we go. Four looks lighter than the rest. Now we're getting it, but I still got to get it from 96%. Is 12 darker than the rest? No, it looks maybe the same. Is 13 different? I don't know. Is five different? Hey, wow, that is tough. All right, what else to unlock? Oh, this looks cool. What is happening? Okay, so I guess the idea is that these chains are supposed to all be parallel, but one looks diagonal, but in this case, one actually is diagonal. So one of these actually is diagonal is one. Seem to be decent at this. Now, I don't think you can actually use the numbers at the bottom because even for the ones that are perfectly straight, so the numbers will be at different positions relative to them. But I can tell diagonal pretty easily, so I'm gonna tune this down to a cool 75%, see how I do, and it's moving. Well, two still looks diagonal. Secretly diagonal. Ooh, it might be nine. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Seven? Yeah, I kinda dash right through it real quick. Ooh, it's eight. All right, I'm gonna go to max difficulty here. I feel pretty good about this. Wait. They all look diagonal. Oh, but it, it doesn't matter about diagonal, it matters about whether or not they're parallel. Oh, so it's like I gotta tilt my head and then from the head tilt, seven is right. Yeah, so you gotta match the tilt. Five is not five? Well, maybe it's four then, because that's right next to it. Yeah, okay, gotta tilt my head the other way. So I can maybe narrow it down to two. This one's actually pretty tricky. I mean, it is max difficulty. So is it two? Yeah, very subtly, tilt the head to match make it look vertical i think it's three and then tilt the head the other way i think it's six and then one more tilt the head this way oh i'm not seeing it yet i feel like it's like four five or six so it's probably five uh oh okay what well, six is not oh no i can't get too many wrong guesses it's got to be three or four three nice uh, that was a tough one the lines are thinner but they are back to being vertical again damn actually a lot of them look diagonal is it three? Just barely. Thinner lines are playing tricks on my mind. Or is my mind playing tricks on me? Ooh. Fuck. Okay, if it's not five, it's might be six. I don't know. Six might be right. No, six is wrong. Wrong, wrong. Is it eight? There we go. There we go. Is it one? One looks a little off. Is it easier if it's on the edge? I want to say, yeah, it's easier if it's on the edge. So that means it's not one or nine because I'm struggling. It's like, I almost got to kind of look at distances between the lines on the bottom. Well, no, I, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Why do I feel like it's five? It's not five, is it four? Uh-oh, wait, is it nine? Oh crap, it was on the edge, but it was hard. Okay, you have to like focus on it. Is it three? Uh-oh, okay, I can still get it here and get out. Is it five? Five looks pretty parallel with six. So it's like you gotta compare the top and the bottom of two uh, adjacent lines. I saw that one and two looked pretty different. What is, what is this? Okay, there's a gradient in the background and one of the colors is different from the rest. And the illusion is that they're supposed to be all the same color, but they look different because of the gradient. Is it one, two, or three? Well, it's gotta be two, right? 
because that one's like out of order. So it's like generally the colors uh, of the boxes should also be going in a gradient. Is it four? It looks like too big of a jump from three. three. Okay, three looks... No. Maybe five? Nope. Struggling with this one. Is it two? Uh-oh. Uh, six and seven look the same, so maybe it's one of these two then. Wow, it is... I'm, it's going to be the last one, I guess. Okay. Six looks off. That's not it. Maybe I'm not picking the right method for this. Or maybe it's just seven because it's next to six. Two looks off. There we go. I'll just keep it this difficulty. I'm getting it most of the time. Now I actually can't do the neighbor strat as easily. I can do it more slowly. Like, it could be eight or nine or seven. Oh, wait, no. They move through the gradient. So, of course, it looks like their color is shifting. Wow. Um. So, I have to wait until, like, their neighbors and wait to see then if there's a difference. Three and four look the same. Is it four versus five? Dude, I can't tell i guess that one's lighter wow maybe six and seven look different okay two three and four all together three looks different mm, four and five are comparable three and four are good two and three are good eight looks different from nine so it's yeah gonna be nine i guess i could compare seven and eight to check did one look different from two maybe not oh no I have no idea. One and two kind of look different, so I guess it's one. Is it five versus six there's a difference, or is it eight versus nine? Seven and eight look good. Five and six look different, so... Oh, shoot. Okay, nine. Ha 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 Okay, six versus seven looks the same. Seven versus eight looks the same. Eight looks different, actually. So it's like, I gotta keep comparing neighbors. Six and seven look good. Uh, one and two look good. Eight actually looks a little different from nine, so it's gonna be nine. How about this one? One of the lines is a different length from the rest, not including the arrow bits, but it's supposed to look like, or but they're supposed to all be the same size. Okay, this one seems a little bit more, oh, trickier than I thought. I guess some of them could be shorter? Oh, wow, yeah, that one's shorter, right. Yeah, it tripped me up a little. Don't just look for the long ones, look for the short ones. Uh, seven looks short, that's not true. Oh, five looks big. I was comparing seven to five. Should have compared that to more. Uh, five looks small. You just gotta compare it to other arrows. I think I can handle that at like 75%. Oh, they're flapping their arrow wings. All right, it was probably nine this long. Took me a second. I think one of them was short. Is it four? Yeah, there might be a long one. Uh, f six looks pretty short. But they're, they're all pretty long. Is eight looks pretty short. Is four long? It's not four. Is it two that's short? Okay, now I gotta do one more. It's six. Okay, I'm not too bad at this. Let's go to max difficulty. Moving up and down. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three looks pretty long. Mmm, really messing with me. Six looks short, but it's not. Three and two... I can't tell. Is two short? Is it three? Oh, no. There's a bunch of bad guesses. Some of them... Oh, five. It's five that's long. There we go. Man, it's tripped me out. Seven looks long. I'm better at finding the long ones than the short ones, huh? Is it eight versus nine being a difference? Or is it four, maybe? Or maybe three? Oh, no. I think it's... Oh, God. Oh, I'm guessing I'm all wrong. It was six? That was a disaster. Yeah, the short ones really trip me up. Seven looks long. It's not. Oh, it so isn't. Is eight short by chance? Or maybe three? Like, I'm trying to compare the two different types to each other. Is it one? There we go. A tough one. Long one. It's like, yeah, you got to compare the opens with the closed. Eight looks short. Or don't compare two different types. Only compare the same types. Is it one? One looks a little long boy. There we go. Ah, it can loop around now. Well, again, compare like with like. I don't like this. Is it eight? Okay, that was a tough one. Is it seven? I can't say for sure. Yeah, it's long. Or maybe, not sold on yet. Okay, five, seven, and nine are definitely the same. 
two and four look the same. Four and six look the same. Six and eight look the same, so it's gotta be one. <laughs> By basically process of elimination. Five and seven are the same. Nine looks long. There we go. Five and seven look the same again. Is nine short? Mm, can't tell. Eight looks long. Uh-oh. Is it six then? Six is short. I compared six to eight, but not to a third party. Six and eight look the same. Four and six look the same. One and three looks long. There we go. What? They, they, they're changing size. One looks long. Uh, th two looks short. Is this easier when it's moving? Four is wrong, so I guess not necessarily. Yes, interesting. Is it nine then? Still compare bear like with like. Five and seven are different. Seven and nine are the same, so it's five. One and three are different. Mm, three and five are different. And looks like six. Nice. Cool. Well, these optical illusions are absolutely destroying my brain. I'm gonna see them in my dreams tonight. And I hope you will too. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next puzzle game video. Have a wonderful day and peace.